gonna put Jacob's little mini mudroom on hold because we have a more pressing project this week. We're the White family. We live in rural Alaska, and for us, it's DIY all day, every day. So last year, Jacob and I, and a lot of volunteers in our community, came together and we built a warm-up building for our outdoor ice rink that's open to the public. I mean, we started framing it in the fall, and we got it kind of knocked out with the getting the structure built and then we went ahead and got it insulated, put some siding on it, got the windows in here, got the furnace put in. He did a really good job of making it very energy efficient and very simple, very low maintenance. I mean then I got to add my touch inside and um, make it somewhere you want to be. So we did the wall paneling on the walls and some furniture and some benches and some cubbies and uh, it really turned out awesome. So the goal of the warm-up shack was to make it easy to use the rink. So uh, whether you're skating or your kids are skating, there's a warm, comfortable, inviting place that you can come in and lace up your skates and go skating, or you can stay inside and have a cup of coffee and watch your kids skating. Um, so just really a building that could support ice skating. Um, we have this really nice outdoor rink that's open to the public and it's well maintained but it just wasn't being used because we didn't have the facility to support it. Um, people were basically coming to the rink in their gear and then putting their skates on in the car and then crawling to the rink so um, it was very difficult to use before we built the warm-up shack. So it took us a little bit longer to build this because it's a public building and it had to be engineered and had to pass codes and it had to be inspected by fire marshals and um, it, you know, it just had to be built to a different standard than if we were building just for ourselves. So we didn't actually get it done and open for public use until the end of the ice skating season last year. So fast forward to now. Yeah, here we are now. We are middle of November and obviously uh, Zamboni's out there. Now we are, this place is getting really used a lot and we're super excited about that um, as a, our hockey program is thriving, it's uh, growing and you know it's really fun to see uh, kids down here skating and their parents enjoying a cup of coffee watching them or even them out there skating so super, uh, super positive uh, seeing this building in full swing. There is one more thing that we need to do on this skate shack and that is we need to make it accessible to all. One thing we didn't do last year with the skate check is we didn't finish putting on a, uh, a access for this back door. Just getting started, we're putting in an accessibility ramp here, and then we're going to set up, put another set of stairs up front, put handrails down on either side, and that way you can access this building from both ends now. So the access ramp that we're going to go ahead and build out here, um, I've never built one before, but obviously uh, it's not something that, uh, that we can't handle in building. So. Went online, we figure out all the, uh, the guidelines that we need to follow to make sure that this, so the ramp is going to be actually something that is uh, to coat. We put together a plan, me and Anna, and then just implemented it. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, lay out my beams that I'm going to make up and add them to the existing deck. One thing I had to do was I couldn't find beams long enough for a ramp that's 26 feet long. Um, so I wound up having to laminate some 2x6s together and glue them. And uh, now those are the actual beams that support the ramp. From there, once we get those attached to the deck, then we're going to go ahead and add um, some decking on top, which is going to be 2x6 material, and then we'll match that same pattern that we have for the existing deck already. So I got the ramp done. So now I'm going to start working on getting these stairs put in that are right next to the uh, access ramp. So 
So I got my stringers cut out, attached to the uh, deck here. I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, stair stringers on, and then we'll have a set of stairs into the building. So I started this morning getting this ramp knocked out and obviously it's getting pretty dark. Get these handrails put on and I got to get home and get the kids because they have practice here at about an, an hour and got to get back down here and, and use the facility. I can skate all day. I can even do top shelf with um, Lincoln. I need a practice stop. For the final transition of the ramp, we're going to have a metal piece made up and bolted on just so that it's a nice smooth transition from the wood deck onto the ground. We have some lumber left over from the ramp build, so we're thinking we're going to make a stick rack with some of the scraps. So we're going to get it cut out and see if we can get it put together. So, just starting to put this thing together. Start to. I'm about finished. Are you kidding me? It's about the simplest project ever. There you go, the 15 minute hockey stick holder. Had a bunch of scraps left over from building the, the decks. Bam, done. Design that. <laughs> into the warm shack. So the skate shack is officially done. It feels so good to have that accessibility ramp done and the access done. We, you know, we just feel a lot better that everybody in our community can use this warm up shack, and it's truly open to all. I'm super excited about it, obviously, uh, using both these doors in and out, the amount of traffic that comes through here when the kids are down here skating, and super good. we got a great hockey program down here, so... Um, it's anybody... not just hockey. I mean, I'm amazed. That, like, we're, we're like, where are all these skaters coming from, and how come they're not playing hockey? Hey, um, yeah. I, got so... one, I got one thing to say. If there's more people in our community that are watching this video, um, come down and join our program. I don't think we could have invested better in our community than this warm-up shack because winters are eight months long and there is very little to do outside. So anything that we can do to help kids and families get outside. And, um, but so many people have come to us and just told us how thankful that they are that we put this together. And it wasn't just us, there was a lot of volunteers and a lot of donations. Uh, but we feel thankful that we were able to do this. So We also wanted to, with Thanksgiving coming this week, we wanted to express our gratitude that um, anybody that visits our website, watches our videos, supports what we do even in the tiniest bit, that um, we're able to pay it forward by doing projects like this. So we appreciate you and we're very thankful that we have the opportunity to be able to provide something like this for our community. So thank you. Happy Thanksgiving, and uh, are we doing a video next week? I don't know. Depends on how much turkey we eat. <laughs> and how much hockey we play. So, we're not really sure yet. We're going to see. So, we're hoping to get back to his mudroom, but... Yeah, I still got a lot of stuff on the floor, but hey, one day. <laughs> so, yeah. We appreciate you watching, and wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving, and 
again, thank you for supporting us and enabling us to support our own community. Let's go play some hockey. Let's do it.